His defense comes three years after Minnis accused the Christie administration of going to bed with an individual who allegedly misappropriated client funds. At the time, Minnis questioned if that's the kind of person government should invite to Bahamian shores. Bonnie Toot reports. Speaking with reporters in the House of Assembly yesterday, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis admitted that when his government signed a heads of agreement with Oban Energies for a $5.5 billion project on Monday, government officials were aware that Oban's chair, Peter Krieger, settled claims for misappropriation of millions of dollars of investor funds and pled guilty to a felony charge back in 2006. This is not a new revolution. <laughs> He has answered you, he's explained himself. Um, these are matters that were dealt by former governments. Menace's defense of Krieger, however, was a complete about face from comments he made on December 21st, 2015, when he accused the former government of going to bed with an individual who had allegedly misappropriated client funds. How can a government, how can a government issue a license to individual of unsavory characters. They're going in the wrong direction! Minnis, who was opposition leader at the time, claimed government approved exploratory drilling licenses for a group of companies whose principal is noted to take clients' money, place it within his own account, and inform those clients that they have no more money. It's also discovered, it's also discovered that he was misappropriating clients' funds. I'm the speaker. Oh, he's drunk. Go to bed with individuals like that? No, sir. Mr. Speaker, the only thing, the only thing I can say, Mr. Speaker, I always remembered, I always remembered something my mother has said to me repeatedly. What she had said to me repeatedly. And she said, son, <coughs> always remember as you go through life, birds of a feather flock together. Thank you! <laughs> now forced to defend his government's decision to sign an agreement with a company whose chair is accused of using a company corporate credit card for more than $160,000 for personal items such as dental visits, taking his pets to the vet, designer clothing, jewelry, and high-end home entertainment systems. However, Minnis stuck to his guns yesterday, asserting his administration did its due diligence. It brings to mind words he uttered during that same debate back in December 2015. And I said, do not be like your forefather. You're going the wrong way! Someone is coming back who is not friendly. He is not patient. He is not a welcome visitor. You are all my children now. Freddy's Revenge. <laughs>